you crafted the number one lowest float dragon law. When was it? That was mid-2018, I think. Actually, exactly three years ago. And the float of the dragon law, I, I, I think nearly everyone knows about this item. The float is a meme in itself. 0 0.00000, four zeros. Then we have a 1337, 420, 69. How was it possible, uh, Frank? How long did it take you to find all that, the right skins for the trade-up? Probably like, I think it was like a full year. How much did you pay for the trade-up? I had a budget for each night of $800 cash. So the whole trade-up was probably like eight grand. And for how much did you sell it for? At <laughs> 30K. It was 100% trade-up. I was about to say, Sparkles is trying to craft the new number one. And I hope he does, because that way I won't regret selling mine ever in the uh -huh. future. How is it possible then, to get a float like this? The 1337 for 2069? A lot of math, honestly. What items did you buy? Not chalices or knights directly, but rather... Mag yes. 7 silvers. It's a light blue skin. You trade up to dark blue, you trade up to purple, you trade up to pink, and then to the dragon lore. And yep. you had how many Mag 7 silvers? Maybe like 5,000 of them in total. I bought the number one float knight off of rock for a factory new dragon lore. <laughs> Someone said I should craft the highest float dragon lore, but sadly you can't craft high float dragon lores. I would definitely do that because the highest float dragon lore is 0.69. Have I ever rubbed one out to a skin? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs>